City, Sherry is here. Oh, it is Kentucky Derby Day, that's right. Susan is here, Tangela, Melanie, Emily, hello. Jess, hello everybody. <laughs> Maya and Kai are here. Welcome today, we are doing Full Body Dumbbell Ignite. Uh, is that right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> so, live workout, 35 minutes using your dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, use what you've got. Hey, Linda is here. And Linda, Alozia, Amanda, Alyssa. Welcome, everybody. All right. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms celebrating this weekend. I certainly know how loud your life can be. Uh, all right. The, yes, Jess said these must be Kai's favorite jammies. Yes, he has two that are his favorites. <laughs> hey, Nicole and Carrie, bye. say bye. bye. <laughs> All right, Simone is here. Nicole, Laura, hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy. If you are joining a live for the first time, <clears throat> My kids are usually here in the beginning and it is always crazy and loud and fun and then we send them away. <laughs> um, hey Tiffany, just finished the elliptical, ready to move, yes. Michaela and her Michaela and her mom are here, yes. Michaela from the Body Fit Athletic Club, I love that you and your mom work out together. Adina is here, happy Mother's Day to you Adina. All right, so we are going to get it done in 35 minutes. We're using our dumbbells if you are Doing the Ignite Challenge, and you saw on Monday we had a um, full body Ignite with weights. This is the dumbbell version of that. So in case you missed it, we start back to basics, 40 seconds. Next round we go, we add the challenge for 30 seconds. Last round is the Ignite round, but it's only 20 seconds. But as we decrease in our work time, we also decrease in our rest time. So get excited about that. It's gonna move quickly. We're gonna have a good time. Make sure you have a few options of your dumbbells if you got them. And I think we should just go ahead and get started, right? So I'm gonna get all of my timers going. Make sure you have your space. Make sure you have some water. Natalie is here. Marjorie is here. Angela, hello. And Mallory, yay. So many friends from the Body Fit Athletic Club, which we love to see it. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that at the end. Oh, and if you can hang out, at the end of these live workouts, I hang out for a few minutes. We have a little Q&A. If you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. Please hold off until the end to make sure that I see them. But I will answer any questions that you have. We'll hang out for a few minutes and we will talk about what's coming up with Body Fit Baby. We have some new things, some exciting things uh, that I'm going to be telling you about. All right, so go ahead and give yourself some space. Start moving your body. Ronnie is here. Mariah! Oh, Mariah is going to Wicked. Oh, I'm so jealous. I love that musical. Julia is here, ready to flow. Let's do it. All right, so we are marching. We're moving. Roll those shoulders. Shake everything out. It is Saturday. Tamika is here. Happy Mother's Day. Woo. And bring it up. Paula is here. Already did another workout, but that's all right. You can still do another. Can you get that iPad, please? Thank you. Two timers running for me today. So what's fun about the live, you get a little bit of the behind the scenes. Uh, so let's take it right here. Open it up, side step, here to here. Oh, feeling tight from the week, but we're gonna let it all go today. Hold it right here, reach and reach. One more each way. Good. Take those feet out, flat back down, and round it up. Take it flat and up. One more. Hold it here. Roll the shoulders. Good. And walk those feet in, round it up. All right, so let's squat it down. Let's roll those hips. Squat it down, roll those hips. One more each way. And last one. Just take it to a hinge, hands behind the head. Sarah is late, but here, Cassie is here. Welcome, hey, hey, Cassie. I am so glad to see your name. Here we go. Whew. 
and then reach it down the front of the legs, reach it up. You can keep it right here, or of course, let's go out to that inchworm. Take it here and walk it back two more times, just like that. And last one, right here. Hold it here. Ha! Ah, press up, down dog, press back. Down dog, one more right here. And walk it back and up, tap it back right here. Reach, oh, Ashley's still dealing with some knee tendonitis, not joining today, but that's all right. You're gonna get back to it. Glad that you're getting that taken care of. Good, hold it right here. <laughs> Find that good balance. Keep it here if you can, drop it down. Walk that front foot away just a bit to open up that hip. Hand down, drop the knee. Take that top hand, reach under and up. Under and up. Big. Step through right here, other side. Again, keep it here if you need to. Open up the hips, walk that front foot out if you can. Hand down, reach up, drop that back knee. And reach under and up. Under and up. Step it in right here, round it up. All right, tap and reach across. Ah, uh, Jill's starting a little later, but here, first live from the Netherlands, welcome. All right, so, take it over your head. If you miss it in the beginning, similar format to that Ignite with weights that we had this past Monday. If you are following the challenge, let's bring those hamstrings up. We're gonna have three circuits, three exercises each round, three rounds in each circuit. So three, three, and three, we start back to basics round 40 seconds that is where we nail down our form we can go heavy with it Whew. uh Alyssa's saying background music is a little loud maybe kurt can come fix that ha that's a nice thing about these live workouts <laughs> take it here so start back to basics for 40 seconds 20 seconds of rest second round we add a challenge for 30 seconds, 15 seconds of rest. Last round is our ignite round. 20 seconds, 10 seconds of rest. So take it to those modified jacks. If you wanna take them full jacks, you can. Remember, be where you are today, so whatever that is. So you can stick with whatever version is good for you. If you wanna stay back to basics the whole time, you can. If you wanna add that challenge and that ignite, you can take it there. It's gonna move quickly, even though it is repeating circuits, which I know not all of us love, but it's gonna move quickly because we decrease in time. All right, Henry is here, Pam is here. Go ahead and shake it out. Grab your heavy dumbbells. We're gonna take it side lunge. Here's what we got. So it is a side lunge. We're actually gonna do 20 seconds each side. All right, I want you to get low if you can. You can keep it stationary, you can move into it. Let's take it to the right, heavy weights in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Here, push up all on one side, so it's a 40 second round, but we are taking it half and half on this first one. So here and here, sit low into that hip. Switch your sides right here, other side. Remember, you can keep it stationary too, that would look just like this. Just lean into that hip, right? Yes, this is your back to basics round. Five seconds. Heather, first time catching a live, yay! And relax. All right, so you got 20 seconds to breathe. I'm gonna go a little lighter for my shoulder. Go ahead and come down on the mat. I know we don't normally start on the mat, but we're doing it. Join me on the mat and we're gonna take it to our basic chest press. Join me here, here we go. If you need to modify, if you are my pregnancy crowd, you may wanna be up in that bridge. Otherwise, if you wanna add that bridge to add a little extra glutes, you can. It is up to you. This is the full 40 second round, and it's back to basics. So again, I want you to think about everything that's working here. 
core is engaged either way. Elbows come wide and it's your basic press motion. 10 seconds to go. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. So stay right here. Why not open up that, those arms to get a little stretch? Modification for this core round is just a bridge. We're gonna start with that. If you can, we're gonna take it to that slow bicycle. Just here to here, you know it, you love it. Take your time in three, two, one. Here we go. I want you to really slow it down, slow and controlled. Elbow to knee. And all those things we talk about with the core, right? Wrap that core. Hips to ribs, making sure we're not arching our back, that you really tilt the pelvis. Bring those hips towards your ribs, towards your head. Feel the difference when you make that little shift. Little pelvic tilt, and we're breathing through. 10 seconds, slow and controlled, then we're back up onto our feet. We got five, four, three, two, one. Up onto your feet, team. All right, this is where we add the challenge. We have 30 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of rest. We are going to take it at a knee right here. We'll go 15 seconds right, 15 seconds left. Side lunge and knee. Here we go. Down and knee. Take it down and knee. If you'd rather just keep it back to basics with just your side lunge, go for it. Push out of the hip, shift your weight. Last one. Yes, other side. Take it here and knee. I don't want you to rush it. I know it's a short time interval, but really get low. Push out of the hip. Quality over quantity. Last one and breathe, right? 15 seconds, back down on the mat. Woo! Now let's everybody add that bridge, chest press and bridge, core engage. We're here to here, three, two, one. So we're adding a little bit of glutes and hamstrings. We're also stretching out those hip flexors, so it should feel kind of good on those quads and hip flexors. Chest press and bridge. Should be appropriate for everybody. If that doesn't feel good for you, you just keep the press. Totally fine. Up and in, down and out. Core engaged. Breathe. Yes. Three, two, one. And relax. Stay here. We're gonna take that bicycle, but we're gonna take it with a little bit of pulse. Three, two, one. One, here's your challenge. Three, two, one. When we're pulsing, you're pulsing the knee in just as much as pulsing it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. So you're pulsing in the upper body, pulsing as the knee comes in, but still slow and controlled, right? Breathe. Yes. See, I told you these repeating circuits were gonna go quickly because we decrease the time. Five, four, three, two, one. Up onto your feet. Here's what we got, team. We are going to make it slightly more challenging. It is your ignite round. Here's what we got. We're gonna go 20 seconds each side on this side lunge. You're taking it here. You're turning it here. You're turning it. So you're keeping it low the whole time. If that feels weird, that picking up your feet, don't worry, you just keep the side lunge. Side lunge to lunge, side lunge to lunge. 20 seconds, let's get it done. Three, two, right side only, here we go. Side lunge, pick your feet up, turn. Regular lunge, pick your feet up, side lunge. I know that's a little weird, so again, if you need to, you just keep your regular, right? And breathe, Woo. five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath, 10 seconds. Let's get it other side. So don't rush it. I can feel myself wanting to go quick. Actually sit into it, turn your feet, turn your feet. Here we go. Side lunge, turn, regular lunge, turn. Ignite, 
right? So when we get to that ignite round, it doesn't always mean we're gonna add high intensity, high impact, or high impact. It means we're gonna up the intensity and the challenge in last one. Breathe. Yes. Relax. All right, team. So down onto your back. Here's what we got. This time, you can just keep it there or just your press or add that bicycle. Ignite round, core engaged. Join me down here in three, two, bicycle and chest press. If the bridge is right for you, take the bridge. If you wanna keep it back to basics just with the press, keep it just with the press. 20 seconds is all we need. And up, yes you can. Woo, and breathe. You can probably guess what that means that we're gonna do something different with that bicycle on the way back. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, you can keep it just right here for your bicycle, or if you can, sprinter's crunch. Oh, well it's a knee, so it's like a bicycle at the top. Use that deep core, power it up, slowly down. You got it in three, two, one, here we go. But remember, be where you are today, you do you. If that doesn't feel right for you, or you don't feel like you're getting as much out of it because you're tempted to use momentum, stay low with the bicycle. It still is gonna work your body. Remember, I want you to challenge yourself in a way that is good for you. Last one, right here, and breathe. Woo! Relax, Michelle is gonna join. Anyway, first slide, workout, grab a sip of water. Right, didn't that go fast? Ah, let's see, Jennifer, hey, from the BAC, popping in to say hi. All right. Mm. So that's why it works, right? That Ignite round, there was nothing crazy about it. There might be coming up, but <laughs> we just are adding on. But again, if you stick with round one, if you stick with back to basics, all three sets, totally fine. You are still getting a killer workout. You do what is best for you. All right, catch your breath, right? But that's why it works. <laughs> Hopefully everybody else is breathing a little hard. It's not just me. All right, so here we go. We are going to take it with our deadlift. I'm going to go heavier because we can, right? So let's take a deadlift starting back to basics. We're just here to here. Core is engaged, right? Everything's pulled up and in. Let's get it done. 40 seconds in three, two, one. So it's a hinge just here. Weights come right down the front of the legs and then power it up. Yes, Robin, first time. Bonnie is just joining. Whew. And up. Really making sure those shoulder blades are pulled back on that hinge so we're avoiding the rounding in the back, right? Keep your eyes up out in front. Squeeze at the top as you connect with those glutes and hamstrings. I want you to really also connect with that core, that deep core. 10 seconds. Back to basics here. You know it, you love it. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. All right, so we're gonna take it with a row. Here's what we got, team. I'm gonna try those. All right, so we're gonna stagger it here. We're gonna take it, our first 20 seconds, one foot forward, then we're gonna switch it, and we're gonna go wide. Put one foot forward, hinge it, ready. Here we go, so we got 20 seconds, elbows up. I know that's a lot of hinge, right? You're feeling it in your back, so really engage with the core. Squeeze here, elbows right up. Yes, you can. Boom, yes. Switch your legs. Take it wide. Oh, 15s, right? Wide. If that's too much, just take it somewhere in between. Split the difference. But you're hinging into that leg. Wide. Woo! Yes! Three, two, one. Relax. I know. Woo! All right, so let's take it here. We're taking it with a high-low windmill. So here are your options. You can. Take it windmill, we'll go 20 seconds each side, right through here. If that is too much, you just pick. You're either going low 
or you're going high. Let's get it done, windmill. Core engage, it's a hinge. Take it down 20 seconds. Bring it up. It's core, it's shoulders, it's everything working together. So, if two weights is too much, you just pick, just like a kettlebell, if you're going high or low, right? Here, and breathe. Last one. Switch it right here, other side. Give yourself time, take it up. It's our long round, 20 and 20. Remember, you're getting that stretch through the side. Yes. And then it's a hinge right down the front of your body. Last one. Boom. Relax. All right, team. We are back to our deadlift. This time, you're going to alternate one leg if that is right for you. If that's not, then I want you to hinge it with a kickstand just like that, right? Get it done. You got this. Grab those heavies if you can. It's 30 seconds in three, two, one. So either kickstand or one leg, but we're alternating. So you really gotta take your time, right? Kickstand just looks like this. Push it up. Looks like this. Push it up. Yes, you can. Whoo! And breathe, Mary joining for the first time live. Yes. One more. And relax. Yes. All right, team. So here's what we got. We got one dumbbell. We're going to curtsy row. Tap it up. Curtsy row. Tap it up. I want you to get low in that curtsy lunge. It's going to be tough, but we're going 30 seconds each side with that row. So zip up that core. I know I'm throwing you with these two-sided, right? So curtsy into a lunge. If that's too much, I just want you to take it one at a time. Feel free to go two if you want, but let's take it here. Here, tap, here, yes. So not so much a hinge, it's that curtsy, right? Here, and tap, flat, and up, I know, Woo. and breathe. Last one. Stretch your back, give yourself a second. We're doing same thing, other side. Again, you can just keep a hinge, just keep a row. Woo! Or tap it back behind, core's engage, curtsy, row in three, two, one. Here we go. Tap it up. So I'm just tapping in towards that back leg. It's up to you. Breathe. Yes. Woo! Bring it up and in. 10 seconds. And up. We got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Ha ha. All right, so to that windmill. It's up to you. We're going to add a press. We're going to go 15 seconds. We're only going to get a few. We're going to press and down, press, and down. If you wanna have no weight up top or no weight at the bottom, go for it, core engaged. In three, two, one. Here we go, 15. Bring it in, Vivian is here, hi! That is our registered dietitian nutritionist. You need to join us in the athletic club. She is sassy and classy, that's what we call her. Sassy dietitian. Last one. Switch your sides, press, and windmill. Here we go, take it down and up. I know that's a quick switch, so take your time getting into it. I don't care if you don't get very many. I want that good form. Bring it in. Three, two, one. Relax, we are two. That ignite round. 20 seconds is all we need, it's gonna move quickly. Here is what we got, team. We're gonna add that row to that deadlift. So we're going one row, power it up. One row. If kickstand is better for you, go with that. Otherwise, let's get it done. You can't even tell which weights are what. 
<laughs> Here we go, shoulders back, core engaged. 20 seconds, one leg or kickstand with the row. Join me, bring it up. I know it's a lot, especially if you got those heavy ones. So, sneaky core, right? Anytime we're adding that balance, woo! Breathe. and relax, ha, ha, right? All right, team, so one dumbbell. We're gonna take it low, we're gonna hang out in that curtsy, we got our wide row. Lots of pull on this one. I want you to stay low in the curtsy the whole time. We got 20 seconds each side, wide row. Let's get it done, core engaged for 20, three, two, one, ignite, take it wide. And here, I like to go with this wide underneath the leg. So I get a little more of that movement, crossing the midline of the body, gets that core engaged. Oh, I hear a child crying, but I'm gonna ignore it, right? Woo, get my work in, three, two, one. Ha, huh. switch your sides, <laughs> cross it over. Stay low, flat back down, wide row. Get it done, I'll ankle here so you can see here, not here. Three, two, one, here we go, bring it up. You're just holding the curtsy. Ignite, this is our ignite round. Remember, it's only 20 seconds, so stay with me. Whoo, yes you can. Burn, yes, whoo, relax. All right team, so we got 20 seconds of our windmill. Here's what we got team. I'm gonna go one dumbbell low. Let's go 20 seconds each side. You're here, you're here. You're going down with the windmill. You're powering up with the knee. If you feel comfortable, you can have a weight up top. Otherwise, stay here with me. 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left. Zip up that core, ready. Here we go. And breathe. And breathe. And up, yes you can. And power as you come up. Pull that elbow to knee. Good, get ready, switch it to that other side. 20 seconds here, core zipped, reach it up. Here we go, down and up. Take it down and up, yes you can. Woo, and breathe. Yes, power. Ah, uh, burn, relax, catch your breath. Team, quick sip of water. Look at that, 10 minutes to go. How are we gonna get it all in? We're gonna get it in, don't worry. Woo. Grab that sip, everybody. All right, so joining me back here. Woo. We're going to our plie squat, all right? We're taking it just right here, nice and wide. You can rest the weights here, or you can have them down in the center, or you can have them goblet. We're gonna start with that. Then we're going to a curl and a press, then we'll add on, then we got a plank. That is it, team. Let's get it done. Try to go heavy with that plie, grab those weights. We're starting in 10 seconds, nice and wide, core zipped, chest open and proud, weight in those heels. Three, two, one, plie, 40 seconds. Remember, this is back to basics. So this is where we really slow it down, we focus on that form, connect with the core. Lori loves every move. I'm so glad, whoo, I'm sweating. My heart rate is up, my muscles are feeling it. Again, you can have those weights down in the center if that's better for you, or goblet right here. This also works, yes you can. Burn, yes, five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right, set those down. We're going curl and press, so super simple. Curl, press, here to here. Pull and push, pull, push. Let's get it done. Core engaged, one foot back for balance if you need it, or parallel, whatever's good for you. Zip up that core. Here we go. Curl, press, down, and down. If you can, I want you to do that standard curl and wrapping it around. So here, wrap it out. Wrap it in. So we get that shoulder mobility coming in and out. 
instead of that hammer. We're gonna add that hammer grip in our second round. So keep it here, turning it out. Up, whoo, and down, yes. Rotation through our shoulders, but also elbows and wrist. Really important, especially for as much work as we do on our computers and our phones, to get that mobility. Relax, yes team, all right, take it in to a plank. We're gonna start on our elbows. Let's get it done, just holding. We got 40 second hold, so pull everything in, zip up in that core, hips to ribs, on your elbows. If you need to modify, I want you to be on knees and take it to bird dog. Otherwise, join me here, here we go. So just holding in this first round. Everything's pulled up and in. Little tilt of the pelvis. Now what do I mean by that? Not this, right? But really try to bring your hips towards your belly button without arching, right? Just a little tuck, making sure you're breathing. And I want you to squeeze tight in those legs and glutes. I had a training once where, continuing education, where they were telling us, if I were to touch your glutes or your quads, they wouldn't move, right? Nice and tight, but we're also making sure we're breathing. Same thing with the core, same thing with the back. Everything is tight while we breathe normally. And relax, stretch it back. I know that's a lot to think about. All right, so here's what we got, team. We are taking it with the plie, walk it in, regular squat, walk it out. That's your challenge, plie to regular, up to you as to how you wanna do that. If you wanna just keep one, take it. We got 30 seconds, here we go. Plie, turn them in, regular, turn them out, right? It's 30 seconds, take your time with that movement. Notice we're adding a lot of movement to those challenge rounds and those ignite rounds, right? Again, mobility, the ability to move well, that's what we want. So we wanna be strong in those static movements and strong as we change it up. Last one, take it in, Woo. breathe. All right, we got 30 seconds. Curl and press, you can keep it just like we did. Take a hammer or clean, press. Yes, you can, right? Clean, press. Core engage in three, two, one. Here we go. Clean. If you're not familiar with the clean, I want you to just do hammer, curl, and press like this. Up, up. All it is is adding a little hinge and power as we get those weights up. So you're using the power from the back of your body to get into that curl and press. Power. Yes. Last one, boom, relax. All right, so we're in that plank. Here's what we got, team. We love to hate it. Let's go plank press, plank press. Let's keep the, the core engaged while we add a little upper body. You can do it. Join me here in three, two, one. Here we go. You're up, you're down. I don't want you to rush on this. I want you to try to keep those hips steady. Yes, they're gonna move a little bit, but try to keep them in. If you're modifying, down to those knees. Core is still working. Pelvis is still tucked. Everything is lifting. Push through that upper body. So again, push and pull. Pull with the core. Push with the upper. Last one. Three, two, one. Relax. Yes, we made it. Ignite round. Let's do it. Here's what we got, team. No weights. If you want, in and out. It's 20 seconds, adding a little fire to that Ignite round. If you wanna just keep it with weights, keep it with weights. It's only 20, let's get it done. Core, engage in three, two, one, here we go. Whoo, no, plie to in, yes, out and in. If you'd rather have those weights, take them here. Whoo, and breathe, get low. Yes, you can, five seconds, four, Three, two, one. Got to end it with a bang, right? All right, catch your breath. Fun one. Keep the curl and press. Keep the clean and press. Or if you feel comfortable with it, watch me. Ski or swing. Clean. Press. Ski or swing. Clean. Press. Only if that is comfortable for you. If it's new to you, just keep your curl and press. Three, two, one. 20 seconds. Swing. Curl. Press. 
Let it drop, swing, power it up. Just like a swing, get your power from the glutes and then up into that curl. Rack them up. Yes! Core. Ha. Let's add one more just because I like it, right? Boom! Relax. Woo! All right, team. So, we got that plank. How about let's just take it to a plank jack? Why not? Let's just add a little bit of movement because we're getting some power on this last round, either on your elbows or on your hands. Plank jack, 20 seconds is all you need. Feel that core, wrap it in. Whatever level's good for you. Here we go, 20. Notice you don't have to go super fast. I'm not worried about speed. I want core engagement. I want a little bit of extra. Whatever extra is for you. Your extra is gonna look different than my extra. Three, two, one. Relax. Yes, team. I know. Right? Right. All right, catch your breath. Look at that. I think we have just enough time for a bonus move. Woo! All right, let's keep it up top, team. Woo! One heavy weight or two weights. Watch me. We're gonna regular lunge, push, tries. Regular lunge, push, tries. That's all we need. You can keep it there or you can just do the lunge or just do the tries. I know, doesn't really feel like a bonus move. Shouldn't we add some core? I think we're good. Lunge, push, tries. One minute, ready. Here we go. Lunge, push, triceps, yes, take it low. <sighs> Boom, take it down. Whoo! If you have a lighter weight, feel free. You can go, <sighs> boom, then switch it. Up, tries, yes, that's challenging. <sighs> ah! <sighs> Keep it moving right here. Lunge, push, tries. Huh. Elbows in on the triceps, right at the top. Yes, you can. Bring it up. Elbows in. We got 10. Last three, two, one, and burn. Your breath, team. Woo, set those weights down. Grab a sip of water. Ha! Ah, tap it out. You did it. How do you feel? Whew. Tired? I know I do. Good? Yes. Energize. Here come some children. I can hear them. Whew. Mm. Maybe you can't hear them because we got the music on. All right, team. So shake it out. Let's get a quick little stretch. And then, <laughs> and then after that stretch, if you have time, hang out. We're gonna chat for a few minutes. We will, I will take any questions. <laughs> I hear you, Maya. I'll take any questions that you might have. Talk a little bit about Ignite. We are one week down and it, ooh, <laughs> and this is her telling me that it is time to come back inside. It's not Mother's Day yet, right? Whew. Hinge it back right here. Oh man, Emily really needed this before an eight hour drive tomorrow. Yes, I know. Always good to get a really good workout before you're sitting for a long time. It's because your body, <laughs> can you guys hear that over the music? I don't know. Uh, just because your body's gonna be in the same position, get it moving as much as you can before. And you know this, Emily, but make sure you make lots of stops and get out, move your body. Woo, Jill says that was crazy. Susan, awesome. Hey, finally caught a live, yes. Yvette is gonna do this later. So proud, team. All right, so Kurt's gonna bring me my computer and you can put any questions. I can see your questions on my monitor up here, but <clears throat> always easier when I can scroll back on the computer. One week of Ignite down if you were doing the Ignite challenge. Congrats. It was not an easy first week, right? It was challenging. 
We had that full body ignite. If you like this format, check, check out the Monday workout and join me again next Saturday where we're gonna do the kettlebell version. On the wall, if you got it, put your fingertips to the back, one foot up, tilt forward. If you can't get it up that high, just tilt it forward to get that hip flexor and quad right through here. Uh, so Monday's workout was the with weights version of this format. So dumbbells and kettlebells, we throw a few swings in there. It's a good time. And next Saturday's live and the following will be the kettlebell and the body weight version. So it should be fun. Like I said, I know a lot of us don't love repeating workouts, but when we go down in time, it's pretty fun, right? It goes so fast. Woo! Linda says that was a quick workout. Jill, that was crazy. Allison, amazing. Mary Allen feels great. Dolores, thank you. Yes, we're gonna do more of this format. All right, team. Woo, we'll get some more stretching while we talk, but let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your full body dumbbell ignite workout. Great job, everybody. Woo, Ellie is loving ignite. Olivia, oh, yes, scheduling your call. Um, let's see, workout every day, still no changes. Should I change, should I have my call with you or Vivian? You know, it is totally up to you. So what she's talking about in the athletic club, when you sign up for a yearly membership, you get a free discovery call with either me or Vivian, who's our body fit dietitian. Um, and those calls can be whatever you need them to be. So some people do them with me if they have a lot of fitness questions. Thank you. And some people do them with Vivian if they want to talk nutrition. So I think it's up to you. If you're feeling good about your workouts, maybe you want to look a little more on the nutrition side, but if you feel like you could step up in your workouts, then join me. Either one is fine. Uh, Linda loved every minute headed to a craft fair with your BFF. That sounds like a fun weekend. Allison says ignite has been tough, but a great challenge tough because you're working hard, right? It's hard because you're working far hard. Sarah and Nyla loved it. Excellent. All right, team. Whew. I gotta get my water. I definitely did not drink enough water this morning. Whew. Always a good idea to remember to pre-hydrate, right? To make sure you're hydrating before your workout. Um, that's why having a glass of water first thing in the morning. We've done challenges before. We talked about this in the BAC. Water before coffee, always a good idea. Water before meals, always a good idea. Did not do a good job about that this morning. <laughs> Natalie says, fun, didn't really feel like it, uh, but there were changes every round. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, right? So it doesn't feel like the same every round, and when we decrease the time, it goes quick. Mmm. Andrew, it feels like you're finally getting it. Knowing my form better, engaging my core. Thank you. Ah, oh, noticing the difference. Guys, look, I know that I talk a lot in workouts, and I know a lot of you prefer that because you want to be coached through it feels like we're hanging out, which is fun. Um, there's a big trend in workouts right now of just straight up music and, and intervals and no talking, but I want that connection, right? Exactly what you are talking about, Andrea, is the more I say it, the more you're thinking about all of those little things. Breathing, core engagement is huge. All those little form connections, the reason I do that is because it is going to click just like you're talking about. You hear it enough, you're reminded of it that all of a sudden you're like, wow, I feel so much more in that specific exercise or that, you know, that move or in that workout because I was thinking about all of those things. So that's why I'm talking the whole time. <laughs> Let's see, Laura loved the format invigorated. I love that word. That's a good one. Ah, uh, Rachel says, great workout, go as fast since you make it fun. That's the idea. Paula's 65 year old self could do a second workout. You did it. I'm so proud of you, Paula. That's also what I love about this body fit community. And we see it in the athletic club too, is we have all different ages, all different fitness levels, all different life stages, and everybody is showing up in their own way and working hard. Proud of you, Paula. Betsy loved the progression. It felt good to be back without modifications. Yes, I'm so glad you're back. Um, Olivia has a follow-up, uh, I'm guessing because nutrition is 80% of the results I should see Vivian. Um, yes, let's talk. Send me, uh, send me, I mean, the, the thing Olivia about the athletic club is yes, we have that discovery call, um, of, as part of the perk for the yearly membership, but by being in the club, 
That is where you get that access to me and Vivian. I love answering questions in this type of a format or when you guys respond to YouTube videos or, or um, social media, but the club is where we really get to know you and we can help you on your personal journey. So I think you'll be fine with either because you get that access to us in the club. We are there answering your questions. We both go live every week, sometimes twice a week, um, where you can ask those questions and we can answer in real time. So I wouldn't worry about needing it to be, you know, like needing a bunch of separate calls, schedule it to whoever sounds more right for you at this moment. But just by being in the athletic club, that is the difference. People often ask, you know, I give the free calendars, everything on YouTube is free. What is the difference with the membership? It's that you get that personal guidance. You get that support from me and Vivian. We are there to answer your questions and to support you in your personal journey versus you know this big amazing body fit community that i love so that's the difference so i wouldn't worry about it you are going to get the support that you need join the lives ask your questions in those as well um let's see all right uh Lori loves repeating workouts with descending intervals right so fun um <laughs> i love any workout with descending intervals right don't we all <laughs> Windmills with the press were fun, right? It's challenging. Hey, thanks for joining, Jess. Happy Mother's Day. Louise, first time joining from Ireland. Um, let's see. Uh, Chris, thanks for joining. Nyla, the connection and the explanations helped me get the right form. I'm so glad. Uh, yes. And yes, I'm going to talk you through it, especially when you're on the mat and you can't see us. <laughs> Lori, talk as much as you need. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you for the affirmation, guys, because I know I talk a lot, but it's because I can't, I can't do it and not talk you through it. I want you to be thinking about all the things. They're also reminders for me as well. Melanie, great workout. I like the three different time changes in each round. Uh, I keep hearing you say you can do anything in 20 seconds, right? You can do anything in 30 seconds. You can do anything is the takeaway, right? Uh, let's see. Mary Ellen says the lives in the BAC are not generally not crowded, easy to ask your questions. Yes. And the other thing people ask, we do these lives at different times throughout the week. We mix up our times because we know people have different schedules and are in different time zones, but they all stay up in the athletic club. So you can view them at any time. If you can't make it and you have a question, you can put your question in the event page and then we try to answer it. So super, super accessible. And you get such a supportive community like all of these Mary Ellen. Uh, Jess, Melanie, all these friends commenting. That's why I know them. I know Jess is healing from a foot injury. I know Melanie is probably going to go for a run later today or tomorrow. Um, we know we get to know you. So that's, what's fun about it. Um, but yes, really accessible. Let's see, Michelle working out with five years now. Um, help me gain strength and guts to get in so much better shape. All oh, that makes me so happy. I love, love, love when we celebrate feeling strong, right? That is everything. Um, awesome. Chelsea says the lives in the athletic club are great. So informative, really feels like hanging out with the community. Yeah, we talk back to each other. Um, so much fun. And usually we cover a specific topic like this week, really informative. Vivian talked about what happens to your body when you drink coffee. Spoiler, it's all good news. I talked about muscle confusion. What is that? Because it's sort of a trendy term that goes around. So we cover topics and then we also get to whatever questions you have. Um, let's see, Paula, be where you are today has helped me so much. You guys know I will shout it from the rooftops. It is my thing. I want you to be where you are today. Showing up is the most important thing. Show up, move your body. I want to help you reach those goals. I want to help you, whatever goal it is, um, and it's totally fine if it is about a size or weight loss or body recomposition, or if it's about strength or if it's just overall health, which I love because that's all of our goals, right? I want to help you reach those goals. But at the end of the day, I just want to keep you moving. I want you to keep you consistent. I want to keep you moving so you feel good and strong in your body because you deserve it. Um, let's see. Lori is asking, what's the best way to do a squat? So, um, Tamika and husband Terrence joined again. Yes. I'm so glad. I love when your partners and your friends join or like Michaela and her mom working out together. It's, that's always so fun to hear. Way to go, Terrence. I mean, Tamika is very consistent, but I'm very proud of you as well. Um, so Lori, I don't know if you're asking about, um, like what squat is more effective or form on a squat. So it, maybe if you can clarify that question, um, 
I, I can answer both. So when it comes to a squat, we talk about your regular squat, we talk about your, your sumo squat, your transverse squat. They're all different ways to work your major muscle groups in your lower body. So quads, hamstrings, glutes, hips, core of course is engaged, all of that. Strengthening our knee joints, our hips, our ankles, all of that. Um, one thing I do talk about a lot is there's sometimes people have a lot of questions about, you know, if that regular squat, your knees need to be totally forward, you know, just here versus our sumo squat, which is out. All of us sort of have a natural bone structure, a way that our um, knees and joints want to go. So if you notice on my regular squat, I do have a little bit of turn up. I think that gives us a little bit of space. Usually it means we can get lower. So watch the difference. If that's my regular squat, my knees go out a little bit. I can get lower than if I just try to be here, right? I would much rather you work on getting low. So if that means you need to have a wider stance or you need to turn those toes out, trying to get low. This is more effective. I know not everybody has the range of motion. Maybe your knees feel it when you get low. I encourage you to, to use a chair, actually sit down in a chair and stand up to give yourself that form support, that balance support. But when we can, what we call break parallel, instead of here, we're here. Like this is our parallel, right? We can get here. We can recruit more hamstrings, more glutes. It is better for our knees because we have more support so trying to get low. Um, in terms of what squats are more effective, they all are. Listen, there is a reason the squat is in almost every single workout ever, right? So functional, we do it all day long. When you get in and out of a chair, when you get off the toilet, when you get out of your car, that squat motion is in our daily lives. So we wanna train for it and progressively overload in our workouts, okay. Let's see, Paula, is the athletic club okay on the phone? I didn't like the workouts on my phone. No, so the athletic club, just to clarify, you'll do the same calendar as everybody, but we have a lot of extras. You get bonus burns, you get substitution workouts. You'll get that calendar, but it will all link out to YouTube. So you can do your workouts any way you want. Use all of the, um, all of the other action on the athletic club takes place in the, on, on, in the Facebook group. So that you could access on the phone or on your computer. Um, tons of options, but it's not a specific app yet, uh, but it is, so you can access it, computer, laptop, cast to your TV, um, all of that. So um, let's see, uh, Tiffany Absolution Challenge has my waist tiny, I'm so glad. Now it's just ready to shred more with Ignite, right? Probably because you learn to engage that core, right? That so often happens when we think, oh my gosh, I have to do more core work. I have to cut my calories, I have to, you know, eat a certain way to get my core feeling good. And often it is about posture. It's about alignment. It's about engagement. So my guess is that's what's happening. Proud of you, Tiffany. All right, team, I'm gonna sign off here in just a minute. Paula says I have trouble getting on and off the floor. I think that's super common, especially with age. What I would say is in a workout like this, I know we move really quickly. Take your time. If you need to hit pause or you need to start your set later, Take your time getting out, down and up. And another thing I like to say is anytime you're getting down and up off the floor in a workout, that is part of the workout. Listen, that is challenging, right? And that is functional. So, so important because we never know. There are so many things, you know, for me, it's like my kids, right? But as we age, it could be cleaning. It could be playing with your grandkids. It could be yard work. All of the, it's getting in and out of the bathtub. All of those very functional things we do in life. So treat getting down to the floor and getting back up as part of your workout. One thing I will say that I think is super helpful is to go down to the side. So if you can, you know, use a chair or something for balance, but usually the lunge to here and then down. And then as you come, roll to your side, come back up. I think too often we think it has to be, okay, and back up. All right, and back down. I mean, even that is hard for me, right? And I do it all the time in workouts. Take your time, think of it as part of the workout, and know that every time you do it, you're getting stronger for life, right? All right, team, thank you so, so much. So still time to join the athletic club. We have the code IGNITE right now, which is half off um, your first month. We have BodyFit 100, $100 off the year. Remember the yearlies when you get that discovery call with me or Vivian. Um, and we have some fun stuff coming up tomorrow, so make sure you check your emails. I think, do we have the new apparel up, Kurt? 
most of it. All right, guys, so get excited. This is something you all have asked me for, and I'm so excited. Um, we have baby onesies and t-shirts for toddlers and uh, shirts for body fit moms. So get excited. There's so many things happening. Check your email, but if you check the apparel, we do have some strong like mommy, body fit by mom, or strong like mom, body fit by mommy. Um, I just think it'll be so fun to see those on your littles. So make sure that you send me a picture, you tag me on social media once you get them. But I um, just want to celebrate all of your hard work for everybody. We're honoring the moms tomorrow, but I'm so proud of everyone in this community. I know I have a lot of mothers because of my prenatal postnatal, but we are such a diverse community uh, across the world, and it makes me so, so happy to keep moving with all of you. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I... <laughs> Oh, oh, that's the other thing. All right, team. I didn't know. I thought that was maybe a surprise. All right, so the other thing that's coming up in your email tomorrow is that we are launching a new YouTube channel specifically for the prenatal and postnatal called Body Fit Moms. So make sure you find it and you follow. It'll be in your email tomorrow. We'll be slowly moving over the content. It will still be on this channel as well. Um, but if that is you or you have a friend in your life who's pregnant or newly postpartum, so much great, great content over there so make sure that you subscribe to that as well we'll still have everything going on on the body fit by amy channel as well but exciting things you guys get the inside scoop it's all coming in your email tomorrow and i will see you for your workouts next week thank you so so much have a great weekend everybody